Hi, welcome to Righteous Food in Roblox. For our first episode, my mom is going to teach us how to make an inexpensive, I mean, an easy, inexpensive Southern New Year's meal. Also, Walker will show you how to get started on Roblox, which is a popular online game and one of his favorites. what you'll need. A cutting board, a good knife, a colander, two cooking pots, a head of cabbage, a pound of dried black eyed peas, high quality oil, any pepper of your choice, water, and high quality salt. Start by rinsing your beans and placing them in a pot. Add plenty of water to cover the beans by about four inches. Place the pot on high heat on the stove top to bring to a quick boil, which will take about eight minutes. Do not add salt yet, as it will cause your bean skins to become tough. In the meantime, let's get the cabbage started. First, you will need to chop half an onion, saving the other half for slicing as a garnish. In a pot, drizzle just a bit of olive oil and add the onion. Place the pot on high heat while you chop the cabbage. Put the onions once they are sizzling, and then add the chopped cabbage. Stir and add enough water to cover the pot's contents. Cover. By this point, the black-eyed peas should be boiling and foaming. When this is the case, remove the peas from the stove, strain, and refill with fresh water. Add a pepper to the pot and bring back to a simmer. As each pot reaches boil stage, foam will arise on the surface. Gently skim the surface and cover the pot, reducing the heat to an extremely low simmer. Periodically over the next 40 minutes, skim more foam to produce a cleaner tasting food in each of them. Now, while this slow food cook, Walker is going to show you how to play his favorite online game, Roblox. To see only the recipe video, we've included timestamps below. We're going to start with the basics of Roblox. You're going to need to start by signing up. So first, you're going to need to type in Roblox Sign In. And once you do that, you should be able to click Sign Up, and it should be Roblox. So you'll see a login to Roblox screen, and then you click Sign In, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you're going to need to type in, like, a different account, or not a different account, but you're going to need to make a username and okay. a password. Marcy S plays oh i'll never i'll never remember that no it's fine it's fine it's fine okay you'll remember it so her account is going to be marcy s plays 2020 so she's going to need to put her her birthday so let's just say she was born october 9th okay okay october. put your real birthday in, but not my real birthday let's put in uh, whatever 1977 okay so let's go down here in 1977. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to need to make a password. Just um, make it anything you want. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So, and then you got your password. So you don't have to click any of these, but my mom's a girl. So I'll right. click there. Now it should take a minute to sign up. Once it does, you should have this type of screen. Yeah, like this. Maybe like this, just random games. And then you should be able to go here and it should say avatar. So you have to get an avatar first? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then once you have that, you're gonna need to go down. On recent, it should have all of these. So let's pick what my mom's hair wants to be. Oh, okay, let me have the black ponytail. Okay. Cool. Do you want black jeans? Yes. Okay, and let's go to... Do I have to wear a jean jacket? No, you can go to shirts. And there's... I'm a... happy with that. 
Okay. Actually, I don't really like the jean jacket. Can we change that? Uh, the gray... I like that teal shirt. Okay. Now you. Now she has this. I look like a mom. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so now Sorry. she's gonna um she's gonna go here in the search. And go B Swarm Simulate Simulate Tour and Games. So you're gonna want to click on Bee Swarm Simulator. It should be the first one. So after you click on Bee Swarm Simulator, you're gonna want to click on the green play button. And this may take a couple of minutes to load. Yeah. So once you get here, it should have had a tutorial, but it didn't on mine. So um, you're gonna want to go to one of these hives, any of them that are open. So you're gonna want to go and is this a hive? Uh, this okay. is okay. Well, anyway. So, so how do you move your controllers? So you know, you're gonna need to use the arrow keys or W A S D. What is W A S D? So W is move forward, A is move to your left, D is move to your right, and S is move backwards. So right now you can see that your hive. Right now, right here, it says Marcia's Place. That's her account. It should say whatever your account name is. So you're going to want to go to eggs slash items. I have more stuff because of um, if you're playing this during the Christmas holiday, you will get some gifts. But if you're not, you probably won't get these gifts. When does the holiday thing end? Um, The holiday ends maybe in January 30th. Oh, cool. So, you're going to want to click Hatch Basic Egg, and it'll say yes. So, you got a basic bee, of course. So, you're going to want to go over to... You might see some people. I don't know who those are, but... Anyway, Does the bee follow you around? Um, It should. Where is it? Come here, bee. Oh, I see you. Hello. Okay. So, you're going to want to go to the field. <laughs> you're going to want to go to the field, and um, there should be like... Oh, a honey storm. Anyway. Oh, a honey storm... I need to tell you what that is if it says a honey storm is summoned. But a honey storm is where, like, honey falls. It might lag a little. But so you're clicking this little thing. What is that doing? When oh, it's, click it's collecting pollen. And once you So get, when you go over the pollen, you click the thing and pick it up? Mm hmm You just have to click. And once you click, like, enough, it should say your pollen container's full if you click too much. So it... Like, see right there. Mm -hmm. So I went and you went and picked up like all the honey mm -hmm. with the clicks. Okay, so you move it, your thing with your arrows, and then when you get over where you want to be, you hit the mouse mm -hmm. pad. Okay. And then you're going to want to go over here to back to your hive. So once you are there, you're going to want to click E, or if you're on mobile, you're going to want to tap up here. So for mobile players, I'll be a little more easy for them. I'll tap up here. But if you are on computer or any other device like that, you're going to want to click E. So right now we're making honey? Mm hmm You just got 160, and your bee comes to you from and gets the honey from your bag. So it'll, like, say plus 40 or something. So right now you're actually going to want to go to the shop. I need to tell you about that. So the shop is over here, and it should have, like, all sorts of stuff in it. And there's a bear. You see he's yellow. He has a blue shirt and green pants greenish mm -hmm. pants so you're going to want to go here and you're going to tap or press e what does e mean like just it's how you to open the shop mm -hmm. oh but you can also do it up at the top mm -hmm. okay so buy for 650 honey so do i, I that? uh huh you do so containers they help you like get be able to get more honey so i'm going to leave the shop and i'm going to show you if you look right here you will see that there's all sorts of stuff you can collect pollen with. Behold, my stuff. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, so right now we have a shovel. Anyway, um, we have a shovel. So, I, I think we're done. So, you can see I'm back at my base, and I'll keep you up. No, not keep you updated. Um... Well, I guess they can come back next week and you're going to show them how to spend their money, honey. Honey money. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.
now that you now that your beans are tender, add salt to taste. Remember, you have quite a bit of water in these beans, so you'll need plenty of salt to bring out the flavors of your beans. Also, taste the flavor of your cabbage and salt to taste as well. For accoutrements, you can use any raw or fresh veggies or fresh veggie you have lying around. Today, we're using sliced radishes, sliced onion, chopped tomato, avocado, and other veggies, and some leftover tortilla chips from our last Mexican takeout. <laughs> and to see what to do with any leftovers you have from today, check back tomorrow for bonus recipes in my series titled Zero Waste Kitchen. Bring in a lucky and prosperous new year with this awesome dish and join us next time for Righteous Food and Roblox. And please like this video and subscribe for all the series on our channel. WMT. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.